okay in this lecture i will explain you more about the pulse modulation what is pulse modulation and why it is used so pulse means basically um um pulse means it's not continuous it's basically in the form of like this this is pulse a train of pulses okay not continuous like this it's like this so these are the pulses that means some, at some instant it is having some value but at some instant it is off okay so this is a pulse as i explained you in the nyquist uh, criteria and the sampling theorem as well now what is the pulse modulation and why it is used so i have mentioned here this method is used to transfer a narrow band analog signal such as a phone call over a pulse stream so these basically these modulation techniques are used for uh, for transferring the calls the phone calls how the phone calls are transferred over a pulse stream some schemes use a digital signal for transmission making them essentially an analog to digital conversion so because the, because nowadays all the digital devices whatever we are used are very fast we need an instant result so for this we need to convert the analog signal into digital signal like, like i explained earlier as well so that's why in this term we are just converting the our analog signal to the digital signal by using some of the techniques so some of the techniques are pulse modulation techniques so there are two types of pulse modulation techniques first one is analog and the second one is digital so we speak about the analog techniques okay so there are three pam pwm and ppm okay so this is pulse amplitude modulation pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation okay and digital pulse modulation pcm so in this term we are going to to study these all four techniques we will study the block diagrams the the detection how how it is detected on the receiver side how it is transmitted okay advantages and disadvantages all the four techniques block diagrams the detection waveforms everything okay so pulse modulation means your carrier is in the form of train of pulses okay so the the remember the carrier the carrier is in the form of train of pulses now it's just basically how we show the pam pwm and ppm so pam when when we need to draw pam so how how i will draw first i will make a sinusoidal wave right i'm just wanted uh, you to know how to draw it in exams then you make it dotted okay or because i'm using this so i i erased it but in exam what you will do you make a dotted waveform like this okay and then you make a pulse inside it like this straight straight lines okay so this is basically pam so in exam you need to make like this so in this you can see the carrier the carrier is basically changing according to the amplitude pwm is the width width that means you can see in this figure the width is changing like first is here then it's higher width then it lower width then is moderate anything and next is position position means it's not the constant distance the distance is not constant it is changing the distance so that means the position is changing so there are basically three types of pam pwm and pp m i'm just erasing it okay okay now what now what what i will explain you meaning according to the amplitude of modulating signal let us write it according to the amplitude of modulating signal amplitude of carrier changes amplitude 
of carrier changes okay decreased or increased it can it can be decreased or it can be increased as well okay so if i am speaking about pam let us say pam that means amplitude will be changing it can be decreased it can be increased so when i am speaking about pam i am writing here width constant width is constant position is constant but amplitude because i am speaking about pam it is varying okay so this is my pam now if i want to speak about pwm so for pwm what i will write i will write for pwm is position what what will happen to the position constant okay amplitude it will be constant what will be changing it's only the width which is changing width is varying okay when i will speak about ppm ppm means what will happen amplitude constant width constant what will be varying position will be varying so this is my ppm so remember when i am talking about pam what is the factor which is varying amplitude pam is amplitude pwm what is width width will be varying and ppm means position will be varying okay and what 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 is p pcm pcm means digital pulse modulation technique and digital codes are transferred okay we will take this in detail later okay now i will discuss the advantages and disadvantages see this this topic is very theoretical no numericals involved so you need to remember the advantages and disadvantages okay so performance of all techniques are good except pam okay second is it is having the better noise performance okay and third one is requirement of a smaller signal power requirement of a smaller signal power to cover area of communication okay and what are the disadvantages this advantages of pulse modulation technique bandwidth requirement yes this is the most uh you, basically bandwidth requirement for pulse modulation is very large okay what is bandwidth okay bandwidth basically the space the frequency spectrum which is required for pulse modulation is large and these these schemes are expensive and complex okay so what we what we discuss in this lecture basically is the pulse modulation so what is pulse modulation and where it is used when we need to transfer a phone call from one phone to another phone so how how this data is transferring this is pulse modulation technique okay 
and there are different type of pulse modulation technique analog pulse modulation and digital pulse modulation analog pulse modulation three types pam pwm and ppm and digital pulse modulation pcm pam when amplitude is varying pwm when width is varying and ppm when position is varying okay and pcm when digital codes are transferred what are the advantages see if you forget the advantages of any technique you need to remember you need you can write the performance is very good it has better noise performance and requirement of a smaller signal power to cover area of communication so performance and noise performance you can write in every advantage disadvantages bad, bandwidth requirement is large so it, and these schemes are expensive if the bandwidth requirement is large automatically the scheme will be expensive so this you need to remember thank you